What's going on everyone? Back at you with another Age of Mythology Retold game today and we've got man like JSS Grass versus JSS Recon. This is going to be an absolute banger of a game. Let's get that visibility on there. So at the time of recording, JSS Recon is ranked third, I believe. He's ranked literally third and Grass, I believe, is ranked about 16th at the time of recording. So, uh... As high level as it gets right now. We've got two pros going head to head. And the civilizations, the gods are, we've got man like Odin. The Odin beard. In the blue, in the north of the map. Going up against, I can never remember that guy's name. It's, it's, uh, Oranus, is it? There we go, Oranus, Oranus. Uh, it's probably the least played. I've, I've played it the least, I have to say. But it is still, nonetheless, a, a fun uh, civilization to play. A fun god. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens this game. Obviously, Aranus, he's going to send out his oracles. And we already see early water play here. This is the thing about water maps on Age of Mythology. They seem really meta. Like, if you don't punish water play early, you have to water play yourself. Otherwise, you will just get completely drowned out, pun intended. Uh, and uh, they'll just uh, pull further, further away for you. Because it's basically like having an extra starting TC. So, already here, we've got Recon. Mr. Rank number three, going for some water play. Bougie. You can see here. Boats, you can only put one boat. So it's not like you can spam infinite amount of boats. On, re on Age of Mythology, you can only have one boat per uh, kind of uh, patch of fish, if you will. Um, and then they have to return to the dock, just like you have to return to the granary. And uh, so it's not quite like Age of Empires 3. It's very different to Age of Empires 3. We've got a nice uh, berserk, just having a little cheeky scout around here. All of the oracles are going to be walking around, gaining all of that juicy line of sight. We've already got a sky passage going down. I love this. Where's the uh, Where's the other one going to go? So you put down one sky passage. <laughs> where's the sky passage going to go to? Okay, love it. So if anyone doesn't know, sky passage is basically like a tunnel, an instant tunnel. Think of it, AJ, any Age of Empires 3 guys in there, think of it as the commandery. And you're using that big button from the commandery. And it just sends you instantly over to the other sky passage. And oh my goodness me, Mr. JSS Grass, what are you doing down here, you cheeky, cheeky boy? We've got a temple and a house going down here. Okay, are we going to see the cheeky behind rush coming up from the rear? That's what she said. I like it. A temple already going down. And you can see here, he is gearing to age up. Wants to get that 400 food in ASAP. And you can see Recon's sort of nowhere near right now. He's uh he's spending all of his resources into plowing it in to the docks, into the boats. Currently only the one dock. And he's got about four boats. No, I tell a lie, way more than that. Seven or eight boats now. So he's I mean the amount of investment that it, it, you pour into this, it it does pay off really, really quickly. But can it pay off as quickly as this rush is going to happen? Now I've seen this before, and I love this. I think we might see, we might see the uh, what the walking woods, what I like to call the march of the ends. I hope we do. So we kind of see that kind of fast, heroic kind of build rush, if you will. So the temple goes down. You need the temple. We can age up. And I like how he's putting the temple behind the... So he's putting all of the kind of military infrastructure behind around, behind Recon's baselet. And Recon doesn't know it's there at all. Let's have a look at Recon's... Uh, let's look at this line of sight. Look, he hasn't even scouted this part of the map. He hasn't even scouted that part of the map, let alone sees his opponent. He could be in some trouble if he doesn't see this anytime soon. He could be in trouble. Because he's going to have the element of surprise. And look at this. Look at this stacking of resources from Odin. JSS Grass is definitely stacking towards going to the heroic age. Now, where's he going to put down the rest of his buildings? There comes a market. You need a market or an armory to get into the heroic age. And obviously, their berserks are the only things that can build those type of buildings. Gatherers and dwarfs cannot build um, buildings outside of ox carts and houses, I believe. Look at this. Look at this. No one on wood. 
Just a really nice. And look at this macro. So you need 500 gold and 800 food, I believe. So he should be able to age up the moment that this goes up, this market goes up. He's going to be clicking that age up, baby. And there it is. And it's going to be the Njord. And that is going to be the March of the Ents, baby. We're naming... It's not called the, the Walking Wood or whatever it's called. It's called March of the Ents. Because we like Lord of the Rings over here, baby. So this is... It's only 5 minutes 20 into the game. And he's already a third of the way aging up. <laughs> oh, my God. The Nord Sivs... The Nord, honestly, they're, they're scary, man. Particularly, I believe, four at the moment. Four is uh, regarded as uh, super, super lame. Oh, and look, <laughs> the Oracle sees it only just now. The Valkyrie is going to deal with it. I love this myth unit. It's such a good myth unit. So let's have a quick look at uh, Recon. Does he now see? No, he still doesn't see it, though. He, oh, I don't know if he actually knows all these buildings. All he does is see the myth unit, the Valkyrie, and he probably just thinks that that Valkyrie was coming up from the from behind, trying to uh, trying to get some cheeky raiding in there. He still doesn't see all of this right now. Oh my god, the Oracle was moving, so it, it didn't have good line of sight. Oracles have really good line of sight when they when they stay still, and it allows their line of sight. Oh, but I think now might change things. I think this will definitely change things. He can't see the buildings, but he sees... Oh, he sees everything. He sees everything now, but is it going to be too little too late? In come March of the Heads. The walking woods. Let's go, baby. I love this power. I absolutely love this power. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a dead town center. <laughs> There's no point having lots of eco if your town center is going to go down before you get a chance to do anything. He's making a load of these hearses. Obviously, he gets the free age up myth units. <laughs> oh, the watchtowers get upgraded. They're going to do some good damage. This mountain giant does so much siege damage. Oh, we've got the, uh, what's this ability called again? The uh, Carnivora. He takes it down super quick, though. Oh, damn, these walking woods are so good. Look at the stats on these bad boys. It's got that, that huge kind of uh, siege damage, that crush damage. Oh, now he's using the forest fire. And that's uh, that's going to be a very charred, crisp forest there. It's not going to do too much damage. It might do some damage to buildings. You can see there, there's a small amount of burn damage that's going to be taking place and there. But not too much damage. It's going to be, make a nice pathway, though. And this is basically any of my Age of Empire 3 guys out there. This is the Otto FF. This is the Spanish FF, right? This The the, the March of the Ents fast heroic build. This is, this is the Ottoman fast fortress, okay? This is your bad bitch. Fast heroic ages. But it's working really well because his opponent, Recon, has gone so greedy. So greedy. And, and these aren't going to be taken out. So he can just continually make units here. He's even getting medium infantry in now. Look, these uh, these walking woods, they don't have a time limit. To, 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 uh, they only die until they die, until they lose HP. Oh. Lots of Berserks there. Got his Valkyrie still. Still got this big boy Mountain Giant. Ooh. And the great thing about um, Oranus is that his villagers, those citizens, should I say, they uh, they don't need drop-off points. They do not need drop-off points. So they can just go walkies onto one side of the map, start gathering resources, and they'll be absolutely fine. All you need to make sure is you put a sky passage in place and it gives him a really good kind of safe passage, if you will, um, to wherever he decides to put the next sky passage. So really nice stuff here by Recon. But is it going to be enough to get him back into the game? What was once a thriving town center is now just completely in ruins and destruction. And is that the last walking wood? About to go down. 9 HP. No, no, of course not. He's got loads more. 
term is being made here. He's trying desperately just to hang on by the skin of his teeth. Because if he can, he still has really good eco. But look, look, he's got 28 villagers. His opponent, Grass, has got 34. And now he's putting down a hill fort. Love it. Securing map control with that hill fort. There's the second sky passage. And look, he's still getting so much value out of the walking woods. They have such good crush siege damage. And they're just going ham. They're going to town on Recon's town, baby. Citizens doing the Michael Jackson there. These uh, Caladria units are so good. They don't have an attack, but they uh, they kind of slow your units down. And they can, they, they can act as a priest as well, so they can heal other unit, uh, heal your own units. Really, really good. And look, these Termas are struggling to take it down. Oh, and he finds the big boys. He finds... Oh, and the Sky Passage. He tried to put them in there, but he killed the Sky Passage over there. So there's nowhere for them to run now. He's definitely trying to get another Sky Passage down. But I, he's going to get instantly sieged. And these citizens are going to go down. He's down to 20 villagers. Almost half the ego. 16 villagers. 14. Oh, it's a massacre. And he's even got a myth unit on the sea. He did put a dock down to get the free age up myth units. And he's got the Kraken which is going to be dealing with these boats. I think that's going to be GG. That must be GG at this point. Like the eco, and this is what happens. This is how to counter water play, guys. Recon rank number three in the game. He's losing to a, to a fast walking woods, fast heroic build. And look at this. Longhouse is going down a hill four in there. He's up to 41 villagers, so it's not like his eco has been that sacrificed. The Kraken just throwing units. Look at that 720, baby. You get a 10 out of 10 for that, Terma. Now he's just making Huskals berserks. Throw, heavy throwing Axemen. The Kraken's trying to deal with land units. And Grass finally gives up. 12 minutes, 15 seconds is all he could last. And uh, Grass taking it over JSS Recon rank number three, calling it GG at 12 minutes. Guys, that's how you counter water play. Water play seems to be so meta. Every time I'm seeing top level players, they're always going onto the water. They're always trying to contest the water. And uh, Grass just said, nope, not even going to bother, Sunshine. I'm just going to run around your base and going to come up from the backside, baby, from the rear. That's how it's done. Tell you what, this is this is on my to-do list for the next build I really want to get good at. I can't wait to try the, uh, the... I'm calling it the March of the Ents build. All resources gathered. Recon destroying the resources gathered, but he wasn't able to put any of that resource into the units that he wanted. And you see there, um, even though it says my name, <laughs> for some reason, that's a bug. You saw grass was going to be overtaken very shortly. Let's have a look at the civilian units. And look at that, up to 52 compared to Odin that had about 17, 18 at that point. But again, it didn't matter. March of the Ents. What a great power. It takes down Town Center so incredibly fast. It's such a scary build order. And I love it. Guys, hope you enjoyed that one. And I will catch you in the next game. Peace.